If your iPhone battery is draining faster after updating to iOS 26, you're not alone. This happens with almost every major update, and it's usually fixable. So in today's video, I'll help you figure out why this is happening and show you exactly what you can do to stop your iPhone from dying too fast. Without further ado, let's get started. Why is your iPhone battery draining fast after updating to iOS 26? Let's look at Apple's official support document about Apple software updates. They explain why you should update your device and how software updates work, but most importantly, they talk about performance and battery life impacts, and I wanted to focus on this section here. So, according to Apple, this is normal as your device needs time to complete the setup process in the background, including indexing data and files for search, downloading new assets, and updating applications. Now, the last paragraph says that, for the first two to three days, you may notice your iPhone gets a little warmer than usual, and the battery may drain a little quicker than expected. This is all due to data indexing into place and files being downloaded in the background on your device. Now that we've figured out why this is happening, next up I'm going to show you exactly what settings to change to stop your iPhone from dying too fast. Method 1. Turn off background app refresh and location services. Open your iPhone settings, tap general, find background app refresh, and turn off background refresh for some infrequently used apps. This can reduce the automatic background power consumption of some apps. Then, return to settings, find privacy and security, and turn on location services. Here, you can turn off location services for unneeded apps to reduce battery consumption. Method 2. Turn off the liquid glass and color settings. Open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down, and tap accessibility. In accessibility, select display in text size. On this page, find the reduce transparency option and enable the toggle switch. Once activated, the glossy glass background will be replaced with a solid, high contrast background. Then, long press the screen, tap edit in the top right corner, tap customize, turn off the color settings, and select the default setting to reduce battery drain. Method 3. Change the battery settings. Let's start by changing the battery settings. To do this, open the settings app on your device, tap the battery option, and toggle on the low power mode option. Next, tap the charging option here, find the optimized battery charging option, and toggle it on. This will help your battery stay healthy over the long term. Method 4. Enable low power mode when needed. Swipe down the control center on your iPhone and tap the low power mode icon. Use it when your battery dips below 30% or during long days out. Method 5. Use any fix to fix the battery. If your phone's battery is still draining rapidly after following the above optimization techniques, try using any fix. It ensures your iPhone's system runs smoothly after optimizing battery settings, avoiding extra power drain caused by glitches left from the iOS 26 update perfect for anyone frustrated with rapid battery loss post-update. Besides, it doesn't require any technical knowledge. Due to its user-friendly interface, it is accessible to everyone. Next, let me show you how to use AnyFix to address iOS 26 battery drain step by step. Step 1. Once AnyFix is installed, connect your iPhone to your PC or Mac. Launch it and select System Repair Mode. Step 2. Now, AnyFix will start to detect your device. Once completed, choose the issue type and click the Start Now button. Step 3. Choose the standard repair option first if you don't want to lose data. Step 4. AnyFix will provide you with the firmware of your device. Click Download to download your device's firmware package. Step 5. After the firmware package for your device is downloaded successfully, click the Start Standard Repair button. Step 6. Now, AnyFix will start repairing your iPhone. Make sure not to disconnect your iPhone until it restarts automatically. Once the repair process is completed, you will see the interface. Hope you can solve the issue by following the methods provided in this video. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.